Hi, I'm Mitch Peacock and welcome to another of my hand cut joints. There are plenty to see, so if you like this one, why not take a look at some of the others I've done. Today I'm going to be starting work on some classical Japanese architectural woodworking joints. And uh, I've never made them before, so that should be quite interesting. Uh, hopefully we'll manage to do it and uh, show you how to do it along the way. I'm going to start today with a stepped dovetailed splice which is probably going to be one of the easiest ones we're going to attempt. This joint is used to connect uh, lengths of timber in their length and I believe it was used primarily for um, ground sills in buildings. One of the first things we need to do is make sure that the sections we're going to join at least in the area of where the joint's going to be are squared all around and squared on the ends. I used this, uh, this oak in a um, picnic bench that I made a couple of years ago now and this has been sitting around ever since so it was squared up when it was green and I think you can probably hear it's no longer quite square so job for the plane So that's given me one nice flat surface, now I can square all the way around and then square an end. So let's clear the decks and do some marking out. So let me just try and explain uh, what the joint is. There's going to be a step in here so that the top half here sits on top of the bottom half down here. And there's going to be a dovetail uh, for the whole of the top half here on this end and a socket for the dovetail in the top half of this section. So we'll need to put a socket in there like so. Dovetail there, that'll come down here, we're going to sit part of this on that one, so we'll have a little step, like so, and then they'll see there'll need to be a step here, up there, that'll come across to where the socket is. We're going to need to remove the material here. Uh, and down here with the step in it and we're going to have to remove this bit here so what we really want to do first of all is mark off for this roughly halfway down point uh, I'm going to need to mark for the step so just a little way up there and then right across the end I'm going to do the same on this one and we've got a bit more to mark. I'm going to come back as far as the step's going to go and round on the other side. Okay, so now it's time to mark out for the dovetail on the male half. I want to first of all divide this up roughly into thirds of what's going to be the waist. And that's looking at about 69 mil. So I'm going to be looking about 23. So this is not crucial. I'm going to use my dovetail marking gauge with the one in six slope side on it. Fence right up against the end, and we'll mark right down to the bottom. Of the, uh, of the gauge. And I'll flip that over, one in six on the other side, line that up to the, the mark, then I want to put the shoulders in, which want to be a square across there, 
I'll mark it in pencil for now, but I shall knife it in immediately afterwards. And I'll just allow you to see it a little bit clearer, I think. So I'll knife that into the waist of the dovetail. And I'll also come back with the dovetail marker and mark those slopes with the knife. Now I'm going to take the ends of the dovetail and mark that on the end down to my halfway line. So roughly like this. But I'm going to use a, a tri square and a knife to do that. Now I need to mark down this shoulder line of the dovetail down the side or down both sides of the, uh, of the piece. And we'll be cutting to halfway and then stepping back a little bit and cutting the rest out. So I'll knife that all the way down and I'll need to set back for my step. And I need the step to be the same on both sides, so I'm going to pick uh, a sensible amount, perhaps a quarter of an inch five millimetres, somewhere in that region. If I mark it one side, I can then transfer it round to make sure I get the same on the other side. So actually I think I'm going to do six millimetres. Transfer those across the bottom. So make sure when you're transferring lines you're using the face side and face edge for your stock to rest against. And we can mark that waist as well. Now as far as removing the waist goes, I'm going to remove this block first. So this section here across there. So I'll cut that out first in the vise and then come back and work on the dovetail. Just a little bit, I need to clean up to the line there, which drifted a little bit. So I'll do that with some chisels. With that block removed, I can now mark for the back side of the dovetail, just to give me something to aim for. And now I can go and cut away these bits of waste. I must remember, of course, that this lower 6mm is the step, so I don't want to cut any lower than that. So all we need to do now is prepare the dovetail socket here and the little step in here. So I'm going to, first of all, I've marked here my halfway point. So I'll be cutting in there and I shall cut this off and that was six millimeters. So I'll use the gauge to gauge six millimeters up the side 
across the top down the other side to the halfway point and I'll remove that first of all. So now with the step cut, it's time to say, at the beginning of the video I mentioned this is the first time I've made this joint and I might make a little mistake. And that was the little mistake. I shouldn't have cut that step out first because that now means it's difficult to register where the actual dovetail needs to go. So, there's no excuse for you getting that wrong now that I've shown you. What I'm going to have to do is line these up carefully so that the step is parallel and so that this corner edge here matches that corner edge exactly a bit like making ordinary dovetails get it all lined up and then with a sharp pencil I can mark the profile of the dovetail onto the female piece that's going to be removed down to the halfway point and I'll put some lines in parallel down this front edge to help me with that. Now we'll cut that on the waist side so it'll be a little bit tight and then we can just pair back the sides so it's a nice good fit. Just like half blind dovetails we cut as much as we can through the corner with the saw, just avoiding this step. Well, let's be absolutely honest, this part is inside the joint when it's assembled, so you could saw a little bit further. With the uh, dovetail socket cleaned out, we can put them together. And that's not bad for a first attempt. A little bit loose. Should have done a bit better than that, but you get the idea. Thanks for watching and if you'd like to see more videos like this please consider supporting me on Patreon. Cheerio!